This is a Game Caviar production. All right, caviars and caveats out there. Watching this video is not having it in the Game Caviar studios. I was digging through my attic and I found an old box of VHS tapes and one of them just happened to be COD 4. I figured I'd uh, take it off VHS, make it into digital, and then do a commentary over it. This is something that needs to be in all Call of Duty games. This is old school free for all. Some of you may remember this game mode from COD 4. For those of you who have never played COD 4, what is the matter with you? This is the best Call of Duty ever created. There will never be another Call of Duty as good as COD 4. Possibly. I can bet money that there won't be. Not just don't bet a lot of money. Anyway, some of the differences between regular old free-for-all, which is a bore fest, and old school free-for-all is that you don't have the choice of um, choosing your own custom class. You start with a Scorpion and an M9. You run around the map and you can pick up your own guns, or uh, different guns, but you start with that Scorpion and that M9. Uh, let's see here. Um, you don't have any perks. The perks are located around the map that you're playing on. So you might have uh, Juggernaut, uh, Martyrdom, Stopping Power. You just run over to it and pick it up like you would a bag of ammo if you have Scavenger. Um, um, all, all weapons have extended mags. It's crazy. It's a very crazy game mode. For those of you who have played it, you know what I'm talking about. It's really fun. Everybody has double health, too. So, instead of knifing somebody once, you have to knife them twice. Kind of like in Battlefield. You know, if you knife somebody straight up, instead of sneaking up behind them to get those dog tags. You have unlimited sprint. Players can also jump twice as much as they can normally. And for those of you who are che cheaters... You jump outside of the map and do whatever you need to do. Also, when you get killed, you fly around. You fly away. You get blasted. You go. It's crazy. It's animated. It's crazy. It's wild. It's random as hell. And I love it. This is the only free-for-all that I play in this game. I don't even text the normal free-for-all because I don't like it. This is what I... This is what Call of Duty needs. They need to bring this back. Both... Modern Warfare and Black Ops need this game mode because it's different, it's fun, it's something that is, uh, that you don't normally Yes. This Call of Duty came out. I don't think, no, you haven't, yeah, because the second one was Modern Warfare and then they had Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2 and then Modern Warfare 3. In between you had, what, World of War, Black Ops. So, you, you know, they got rid of this stuff, they went away from it. I don't know. I don't know why, but what I do know is that this game right now, it came out years ago. It still is better than the most recent Call of Duty game that Infinity Ward has released. What is amazing to me is that most companies, you know, most of the time, even most people. They have to work their way up to the top. Infinity Ward somehow started at the their prime and then have absolutely free falled since then. You got Treyarch who, I will say, and I've said this before many times, they put out flawed Call of Duty games, but at the same time, look, they do a good job of actually half-ass caring about the customers and trying to fix the game. Infinity Ward, it's like they finished the game. They're like, woo, all right, we're done. Let's gold this game, send it to the copiers. We're done. Boom, done. Everything is finished. And it's almost like they shut down their studios. Like, that's it, until they're about to make a new Call of Duty game. And I understand they have patches. They patch this, they patch that. They put these patch notes out. And those patch notes are like a joke. It's almost like somebody wrote them down on a bar napkin. You know, it's, it's Saturday night, you know. It's like one of those... It's, it's one of those things. It's not a lot. It's less than a paragraph of changes most of the time. Now, if you look at a game like Battlefield 3, they have, like, tons of things they change. And it's crazy. 
but that's beyond the point. That's that's another discussion that I've been through before. I don't want to do it again. Look, I want you all to become a part of Game Caviar. And the only way for you to do that right now is to press that subscribe button. If you press that subscribe button that you see on the upper left-hand side of the video, then that will open up your mind to a world that will uh, absolutely entertain you beyond belief. If you could do that for me right now, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.